just about to take a break. Start recording. Right, man. This thing here weighs one and a half kilo. Just keep it for half an hour every day. And you're gonna feel like a, like a, like what? Like a giraffe. Have you ever felt like a giraffe? GoPro, would you go and get me a giraffe, please? Yeah, go, 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 go. There you go. See this here? Kirin. That stands for giraffe in Japanese. Don't you love this 21st century gadget? They're so cool. GoPro just went and got me some beer, man. <laughs> Cheers, GoPro, I love you. Can you picture yourself in a Japanese bar and you go to the waiter and say, hey man, can I have a giraffe? Cold one, please? And he's gonna go long neck or short neck. <laughs> and talk about giraffe, man. Let's talk about Africa. When I was in the seventh grade, I had to make this report about Africa, man. When I was a kid, there wasn't such a thing like National Geographic, Discovery Channel, Animal Planet. If I had to get information about Africa, man, the only source of information I had was either the Tarzan movies I watched, <laughs> or the library, yeah? Like, there's no, no other place to get information from. So I had to go to a library and get hold of every single book related to Africa I could get my hands in. Going through all these books, man, like when I saw the pictures of the African men and women, I mean, when I saw the picture of the tribes, man, I was like, wow, check these guys out, man. They look just gorgeous, you know, like all those body paintings, faces and the colors. Uh, wow, man, what? isn't that amazing? Like, they look beautiful, right? I wish I could go to Africa only to shoot a, a documentary about all these tribes. That would be great to go and do some stuff just like Jimmy Nelson did. You know this guy, Jimmy Nelson? Check his website out. But yeah, like Jim Nelson, like he goes all over the world looking for these minorities, right? For these tribes. And uh, what's the name of the thing he shoots? I think it's called Before They Pass Away. Like he shoots all these, these tribal men and uh, the pictures are gorgeous, you know? And he shoots in four by five. Have you seen a four by five camera? It's like goes on a tripod. A huge camera, so you have to put a sheet over your head. It's like the negative, man, the negative. The negative is like this. It's four by five inches. It's huge, right? And it's like, of course, us is huge. It's great quality, right? And uh, yeah, he's got this camera set here in Vuong. He's taking the pictures there. And uh, man, that stuff weighs tons. I think only the tripod that he carries uh, weighs more than 20 kilos, man. Only the tripod, right? And uh, to get to where these tribes are, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's no roads and you know, don't catch a taxi and say, hey, can you drive me to that tri tribe there somewhere? No, he's got a, all this bunch of horses loaded with his stuff, you know what I mean? And he has to go through the jungle for days, maybe weeks to get to where these people are. Once he's there, he's gonna try to persuade the guys to pose for him. Of course, there is maybe some money involved there, you know what I mean? He pays a little bit, but hey, the pictures are unique. And they, it would be so great to go to Africa and do something like that, wouldn't it? Fantastic. Then going through these books in the library, something got my attention. It was saying something about the African exodus, when the Africans left Africa and went to Arabia and Europe and Siberia and all over the world. I'm South American, I'm from Brazil, and uh, I can tell you, man, pretty much that there are some similarities between native South Americans and the Asians, right? They look pretty much alike to me. I could go even further and say that Africans and Asians also have some similarities. You might know the British model Naomi Campbell, right? Man, for me, she looks Asian. Check out this, uh, this picture here. It's like, 
She's Asian, man, isn't she? Those eyes don't lie. She's got these slanted eyes, and you know, for me, she's pretty much Asian. Even her name, Naomi, is a very popular name in Japan. So I guess there's something Asian about her there, maybe hidden in her jeans somewhere. I don't know. Right. Stay there. Cool. Right, guys. Going through these books in the library, like you can see pictures about the Africans, you can read about them. But how about their music, right? Like uh, you might know Fela Kut, and the, there is a bunch of famous uh, African musicians out there. But I want something more. I want more information, more musical information about Africa. And then, what? One day I was surfing the net and I came across this video. Check this out. <laughs> Isn't that cool, man? I got this song stuck to my mind 24-7. I could not forget about this song. I had to do something about this song. I had to shoot a video out of it. I had to shoot some photos out of it. I had to make a story about this song, man. Like, this was so good. If you saw my very first video that I posted here on YouTube, it says that what inspired me to shoot that editorial was the movie Blade Runner. So you can be inspired by movies, right? The second video I posted was about celebrities. And then the story about the, the editorial was based on, on the news I read about celebrities. But how about shooting something when you are inspired by music, man. I had to do something with this music. I mean, it's too inspiring for me. I have to do something like with this song. And uh, sooner or later, I will. And I did. Boom. Right, one day, a friend of mine who is a fashion model, she showed me this picture of herself in a fashion show. And uh, wow, check this guy out. Cool. It's playing some kind of harp, isn't it? Anyway, this friend of mine showed me this picture of herself in this fashion show. And uh, she was wearing all these cool accessories. And I was like, man, these accessories look really cool. And don't they? It's like, wow. Can you get me the designer phone number so, or email, whatever, uh, so I can contact him and maybe we can talk about some collaboration stuff. Maybe I can take pictures of his accessories and yeah and then she got the his number so i called him i went to visit his atelier and uh, yeah man he had this amazing collection of accessories like from necklaces and bracelets you name it and i was like can i borrow this for a shooting and he was totally positive about that i said great man so i'm gonna think about what i'm gonna do and uh, i'm gonna get back to you soon then out of the blue, the director of Miss Universe Japan called me to take pictures of Hiroko Mima, who was Miss Japan in 2010, I guess. I don't remember when. I was like, hey, man, that's nice. Let's shoot Miss Japan. It's not too bad. Well, why not? Let's go and do it. And uh, I had taken her pictures before. I knew she was pretty. She's got this Naomi Campbell kind of look. But I didn't want to shoot just like uh, pictures of her wearing the, those accessories. Had to, you had to have a story, right? So what if I shoot Hiroko Mima wearing those accessories that I could borrow from the designer in a very exotic way, maybe pretending to be an African native? Could be interesting, eh? If Naomi Campbell can be Asian, Hiroko Mima can be African, right? So, I went to Google. Back in the days, I had to go to the library, right? Now we have Google, man. Isn't it nice? I just love the internet. You know, I want to take a shower in the internet. I want to have breakfast with the internet. I want to 
being bad with the internet. Man, internet is the best thing that ever happened in my life. It is so good. Great. What did I do? I googled African warrior. Right, let's see what it got. Let's go through images. What it got here? Mm. Mm, spears. Let's get Brittany some spears. No, let's get Hiroko some spears, yeah? Yeah, cool, why not? Spears are a good idea. I can get the, like a piece of bamboo that could do the job. Leopard, leopard is a good idea too. How about leopard prints as for, for backdrop? I know a place down the road where they sell it. Yeah, what else do you have? Head adornments, right? Yeah, man, maybe you can have some of the accessories there on her head. Could work fine, couldn't it? Yeah. What else? Uh, as for poses, let's see. Man, these guys look like they're gonna kick some ass. Maybe I can have Hiroko posing like that. Yeah, why not? What else do you have? Amazon Indians, let's go through images and uh, what you get here, blah, blah. Fringes. Yeah, they all have her hair fringed, yeah? Maybe I can tell the hairstylist to bring some fringed wigs. Yeah, why not? Perfect. How about location? We don't have a place in Tokyo that looks like that. Maybe I can get a, like what, a bamboo curtain. It looks like bamboo for me, right? Yeah. Maybe you can get a bamboo curtain and uh, to have this in, in the backdrop. That could be a good idea, cheap. As for lighting, well, I suppose they don't have any electricity in Africa, right? So maybe they warm their places and uh, light it up with fire. Maybe a tungsten spot like this one here could do the job as for lighting. It's kind of warm, tungsten light, right? And uh, a bit of harsh lighting could be nice, yeah? And uh, how about clothes? Uh, wow, they are all naked, man. I don't think Hiroko is going to do it naked. But maybe she can wear swimwear, like in the fashion show video we saw before, right? Yeah, and this is what I came out with. Have a look. Right, man. Now, just before I show you the preview of the next video I'm gonna be posting here, man, I just wanna ask you a favor. Would you please drop me a comment and let me know if you like this video or not? And uh, maybe you didn't like it, you say, I don't like your videos, man, your videos suck. You're gonna send a pound to your house and I'm gonna blow it up. And hey, I wouldn't mind at all because you know I love the smell of napalm in the morning, man. I just do love it. <laughs> yeah, man, just drop me a comment and hey, it would make me so happy to hear from you. And if you subscribe, it's gonna make me even happier. And if you click like the, what? The like button there, I'm gonna be like, yeah, man, I'm getting it. You know, I don't pretend to be a famous YouTuber or anything, but it's always nice to hear from people, yeah, it kind of motivates me to keep on posting. Right, here's the preview of the next one, and it's gonna be a nice one too. Let's get it started in here. Check it out. Make sure you don't miss it, right? Next Tuesday, man. And uh, if you drop me a comment, I'm gonna tell my GoPro to go and get you a beer, right? And uh, talking about beer, GoPro. Go and get me a beer, would you? Yeah, go, babe. <laughs>